All right, hey everybody, that's Sam Meredith here at Atwater High School. We're gonna be running today some 7018. And we're gonna learn how to fill in some half inch diameter holes using 7018 stick electrode. So we're gonna be running this electrode on DC positive at about 122 amps. And I'm gonna be using a lot of these little stubbies that are left over. You know, always keep these rods. We wanna use them efficiently. So what this assignment's going to do is it's going to teach students to fill in any large gaps using the SMAW process. First thing I'm going to do is when I grab these electrodes, you're going to see the flux coating is kind of uh, overhanging the wire core. So I'm just going to take my glove and break that end off so I have a nice, nice shiny in there. So when I tap it, uh, I get good, good contact to start the arc. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start about the 12 o'clock position, keeping the rod straight up and down. I might actually oscillate it to where I'm beveling it away from the hole, and I'm just going to kind of roll the wrist all the way around, and I'm going to stop at about the 10.30 spot. I don't want to go all the way over to high noon because then I'm going to get a slag inclusion from running over the, the uh, slag that's, that's built up from the, where I started the weld. So we're going to go ahead and run this thing. Going to keep a real short art gap and let that molten puddle just flow right into the center. And we're going to stay right on the edge. We're going to stop right here at about 10:30. And we burn that electrode nub down to about a one inch left. Okay, don't get them any shorter than that. We don't want to burn back into our electrode holder. We're going to wait for that glow to be gone. It's going to kind of look like a donut. Take the wire brush. All right, now I'm going to take a second electrode and I'm gonna fill it in. So I'm gonna start right up here, back on my 1030 position, let that fill in, and I'm gonna roll it back around counterclockwise and stop over here, bring it slightly to the center, and you'll see it'll kinda build up. It'll build up a nice little button on top. Here we go. Give it a second to let the glow go away. One of the things I want to show you is we're going to flip this thing over. You can see great penetration on the back. In fact, that hole has been completely filled in. You can see what it looked like before and now after. Now that glow's gone away, we're going to chip it. There's zero undercut, nice good fill in. We could take a grinder and grind this flat and it would look like there was never a hole there to begin with. That's a 7018 half inch hole fill.